The soaring symbol of the United States is flying into dangerous territory. A new study shows an alarming number of eagles are now being killed by wind farms. Is the push by environmentalists for alternative energy putting our nation's symbol in harm's way? Joining us now is Al Cicery from the American Eagle Foundation and Challenger the Bald Eagle, a friend of the show. Nice to see you, Al. Welcome Good to see back. you again. Yeah. Good morning. So yeah. uh, among uh, this new study's most interesting numbers is that uh, we've seen 58 deaths uh, in, in some of these states from bald eagle, by bald eagles by these wind farms, mm -hmm. and that number is going up over the last few years. What do you right. make of this? Is this a growing problem? Oh, yeah, because wind farms are becoming more and more prominent across the country. They're building more and more turbines, so the problem's going to increase. Um, in, in, I guess, 2004 at Altmont Pass, which is one of the uh, earliest wind farms in California, there was 116 uh, golden eagles killed. If you calculate over a 25-year period, that's 3,000 golden eagles. Is that more than we were concerned with all these pesticides, DDT and everything in the past? Is this becoming as big a concern, a pesticide problem? Well, it's a serious concern. I don't know if it's as big as pesticide was because pesticide was making the eggshells soft for so many years that the population nearly got wiped out. Al, are we seeing this problem with other birds as well? Why just the bald eagle? Well, it's not just bald eagles. It's golden eagles. It's other birds of prey. There's thousands of bats every year that are killed by wind, wind turbines as well. So there's other wildlife involved besides eagles. So the government is subsidizing, obviously, these wind farms, I think 100% of them. And I'm a little confused because killing a bald eagle is a big deal. If I shoot a bald eagle by accident while mm -hmm. pheasant hunting, for example, I'm in serious trouble. You are. Are these government-backed wind farms getting in trouble for killing all no, these eagles? That's just it. If you were to kill an eagle, you'd be subject to prosecution and serious fines. But uh, right now, the, the wind farms are being given a five-year grace period that, that, that they're not being subject what, to Why do they get a pass fine. when they're slaughtering well, they eagles? They shouldn't. Uh, How? They, they should be paying just like anybody else would. I mean, the law is the law. The Golden Eagle, the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act of 1940 is the law that applies in this case, and, and uh, they're just not being well, prosecuted. Environmental and then Obama is going to be, extend that to a 25-year period. He's considering that right it's now. Ridiculous. So. Environmentalists have to be outraged, though. I mean, yeah. I understand they want the wind farms because it's alternative energy, but yet it's killing, killing bald eagles or eagles. That's right. And, uh, you know, there, we need to apply our, our, our brains in America here to develop turbines that are safer for birds. And it's still a good energy source if we can <clears throat> develop uh, turbines that will be more, you know, bird-friendly and, and wildlife-friendly. <clears throat> well, you're going to be down at the big Philadelphia Eagles uh, home opener tomorrow. That's right. Uh, yeah. and flying the eagle across the stadium down there. Always great to see you, Al. Thanks. Oh, so good much. to see you too. Thanks God bless you guys. I hope our viewers too, can Al. tell what a dramatic animal that. I mean, that's yeah. just an amazing, Beautiful. amazing bird. Yeah, we've come a long way to bring these back to where they are now. The numbers, and we don't want to set it back now by you know wind turbines and other. other good things. for you. Yeah. Gorgeous.